December 26, 2004, the Boxing Day that I could never forget. I remember when people just wrap up Christmas celebrations in Penang, Malaysia. A 9.1 magnitude earthquake struck off the Indonesian island of Sumatra at 7.58 morning in the local time, triggering a mega tsunami. Now, if you do not know, Malaysia is a country seemingly blessed and spared from natural disasters such as earthquakes, tsunami, typhoons, and tornadoes. Therefore, the people have little knowledge about this disaster at the time, and nothing is more dangerous than an unknown threat. It was a usual weekend in Penang Beach, a beautiful place where tourists and local people go to picnic, swimming, and spend time with family. However, nobody knows the disaster was about to hit this place. Around 1.30 p.m. in local time, three hours later of the earthquake, people started to notice the seawater receded a long way out from the beach. Unfortunately, the people have not experienced any tsunami in living memory and did not realize it was a sign of tsunami. Some children even chased down the tide long way out from the beach with curiosity and collect stranded fish. Within 5 minutes, the water rushed back as a huge wave with 500 miles per hour in normal speed and force wiped away all the beach and towns. There was no alarm and no warning system. The tsunami killed 38 people in Penang, including three kids of our bus driver in primary schools who live in our neighborhood. That was a sad story, and it broke my heart to see him collapse on floor in the funeral. Later, from the news, we realized that the tsunami was the most little ever to have occurred, with a death toll that reached a staggering figure of over 225,000 in a matter of hours, affecting people in 14 countries with Indonesia hit worse, followed by Sri Lanka, India, and Thailand. This Indian Ocean Tsunami of 2004, aka the Boxing Day Tsunami, was the deadliest in recorded history. That's when we learned that not knowing is a dangerous thing. In response of this disaster, the Malaysian government added a new word to the vocabulary, tsunami. Now what I'm going to share on this list might not necessarily the deadliest or the most destructive but they do dominate one category. They are the tallest mega tsunamis ever recorded. Greenland, the world's largest island lying in the North Atlantic Oceans, it is noted for its vast tundra and immense glaciers. Greenland rarely sees tsunamis, but when it was hit, it was hit by one of the biggest waves on record. On June 17, 2017, a massive landslide on Carrot Fjord, where millions of cubic meters of rock plunged into the water below, 90 miles away of the village. That disturbance pushed water levels up by more than 295 feet tall wall of waters into the fishing village of Nosgasir. 45 structures, including 11 houses, were washed away or destroyed by this mega tsunami, and 4 people were killed. Experts believe the event was triggered by a warming climax storing the glacier landscape. The mountains surrounding Carrot Fjord are still unstable, and even bigger landslide caused tsunami could be in Greenland's future. These shocking moments captured by fishermen where the tsunami hits Greenland's west coast. As you can see the first wave pushed the boats to the shore. 
and this is the part I'm not sure why the fishermen would approach to the sudden pullback of the water and try to save their boat because in my knowledge they are always second and third and more waves in the tsunami and they will be only bigger luckily all three were able to escape the wave just in time Amban Island is part of the Maluku Islands of Indonesia. It is mountainous, well watered, and fertile. Amban has no active volcanoes, but it does have some hot springs. On February 17, 1674, an earthquake struck the Maluku Islands in the Banda Sea. The seismic event sent a massive wave crashing into Amban Island, swept to the coast of the island, where it killed more than 2,000 people. On the Hitu Peninsula, the wave were thought to be as high as 328 feet, nearly topping the coastal hills. Entire forests and plantations were uprooted and washed away. The tsunami was accompanied by a defending noise. When it slammed into the coast, eyewitnesses described the floor as very dirty and foul-smelling. This 1674 amber tsunami was the first mega tsunami to be documented in detail in Indonesia and remain one of the largest tsunamis on record. Icy Base is a body of water in southeast Alaska. Formed in the last 100 years by the rapid retreat of Gear, Yatsi, and Tindo glaciers, the protected blue waters surrounded by spectacular glacier scenery and an abundance of wildlife are ideal for sea kayaking. In October 17, 2015, 180 million tons of rock slid into Thailand Fjord, an arm of Icy Bay, generating a mega tsunami that stripped 8 square miles of forest from Wrangell St. Elias National Park and Preserve. The wave reached as high as 633 feet. It was the fourth highest tsunami ever recorded. Fortunately, no humans were close enough to be impacted by the event, and the only damage to infrastructure was rocks scattered on a beach used for landing boost planes. Vian Dam is located on the Vian River in northeast Italy. It is double curved, thin arch dam and at 860 feet high. It remains one of the tallest dams in the world. Vian Dam was built in July 1957 and began filling in February 1960. During first filling, some people questioned the reservoir bank along Mount Tok was the site of ancient rock slide. A local newspaper published an article suggesting that the landslide were recurrent near the dam site and increased the likelihood of disaster. This created a reaction with the public and shortly after, legal actions was taken against the newspaper for spreading false news and disturbing the peace. During the summer of 1963, a large precipitation event caused the lake level to reach the highest recorded level, 814 feet deep, 50 feet from the dam crest elevations. Several days before the disaster, the mayor issued a manifesto urging villagers to evacuate, but very few people heeded the warnings. On the night of October 9, 1963, 260 million cubic meters of rock slide occurred and slid into the reservoir in less than 45 seconds, causing the water to vent over the dam and producing an enormous flood wave of 850 feet tall that destroyed several villages in the valley and killed almost 2,000 people. A third of the population Longaron, the largest village downstream of the dam, Paris. However, the Vian Dam, one of the biggest in the world at the time, did not suffer any serious damage. The tsunami is among history biggest in additions to being one of the deadliest man-made environmental disasters ever. Mount St. Helens is an active stratovolcano located at southwestern Washington in the United States. It was the fifth highest peak in Washington, and due to the extensive snow and ice cover of the summit cone, earning it the nickname, the Fuji Sun of America. It is also best known for its major eruption on May 18, 1980s, the deadliest and most economically destructive volcanic event in the United States. In the morning, an earthquake with a magnitude of 5.1 triggered a gigantic landslide causing the north side of the volcano broke apart. The massive avalanche of debris that slipped from the mountain crashed into the Spirit Lake with such force that a wave of water 820 feet high was sent smashing to shore. 57 people were killed, 200 homes, 47 bridges, 50 miles of the railway, and 185 miles of highway were destroyed. By contrast, aquatic ecosystems in the area greatly benefit from the amount of ash, allowing life to multiply rapidly. At the event's end, 
Mount St. Helens volcanic cone had been completely blasted, leaving a huge crater now partially filled by a lava dome and a glacier. Lituya Bay is a fjord located on the coast of the southeast part of the United States of Alaska. It is a place of unusual beauty and a haven for seafarers who want to avoid hours of difficult sea or being storm battle against the rocky coast. But it is also known as a notorious place where many report claims that vessels have been tossed about, rolled over, and sunk and crews killed in untimely crossing of the bar. The first giant tsunami in Lituya Bay happened in late 1853 or early 1854. The point in the valley where trees were wiped away indicated a massive wave with maximum height of 394 feet. Then the second biggest tsunami on record hit was on October 27, 1936. Eyewitnesses described three giant waves rolling in from Creeland Inlet one after the others at speeds around 22 miles per hour. The largest wave were tore up at around 490 feet. Experts still aren't sure what caused the tsunami, but an underwater rock slide is one possible culprit. On July 9, 1958, when a 7.9 magnitude earthquake struck the Fairweather Fault, dislodging 90 million tons of rock into the bay, generated a wall of water which nearly 1,720 feet in the air, which is higher than the Willis Tower in Chicago. That was the largest mega tsunami ever recorded in the history. Five people were killed by the wave, included three people on the shore of Kantal Island at Yakuta Bay's entrance, and two people on a boat in Lintuya Bay. Although these tsunami are the biggest, they are not the deadliest as others, such as Indian Ocean Tsunami in 2004, Messina Earthquake and Tsunami in 1908, Erika Tsunami in 1868, Krakatoa Tsunami in 1883, and many more. While most of these tsunamis are among the deadliest, what makes them the worst is they came when people least expected them. Therefore, having learned from the past, warning systems in the most vulnerable areas should be improved in such a way that allows people to take better preventive measures to save as many lives as possible. After all, what is more precious than a human life? Now, which tsunami is the deadliest in your mind? Comment down below, subscribe and thumbs up if you like this video.